In the beginning, there was a mystique. In the beginning, 2000 is a good year to start with. President Bush is in office. There's a need for a radical underground that says a lot, but without saying anything. So made up words are really good. They're uncensorable, and you can say a lot with them. They're metaphors, a language of metaphors that I just felt so compelling that I started decorating circuit boards with symbols and these words, not really to make them pretty, but to actually have a text that goes along with the circuit that's kind of propelling its design forward. It's a circuit design tool called Osmond. What, emitter of two, emitter of, I want collector of two and emitter of one connected. I can make, there's that pentagram again. I am a synthesis, a maker of synthesizers. Users buy the synthesizers. They come to me saying, I don't feel like programming or using my own computer, but I want to make music with my hands. And most of these people I have not met. They're over the internet. I spend a lot of my time thinking and just testing ideas in my head. And then the rest of it is what me and every, all the DIY synth makers doing is, yeah, you're making synths that make cool sounds and they're metaphors for something. Something in your process or your life or your philosophy. When I sit down to design an instrument that deals with interconnectedness, I usually start with a paper circuit, a piece of paper folded over itself, just to test an, a really abstract idea, like, will this work? The paper circuit is like a tribe, a loose affiliation of components bound by proximity, heritage, loyalty. If a paper circuit works, that means that it has a robust set of possibilities, and it's not just a simple thing anymore. Then I can build supporting circuitry to bring out these possibilities and make it into a larger, more permanent instrument, and it can grow and be built into a larger society. A lot of the job of synthesizer makers is picking and specifying chips and then kind of going deep on the chip, figuring out what the chip means and its arrangement in space and then how that suggests connections to other chips. You can build a story about how the little tribes come together in a larger interconnectedness. Then it can grow and be built into a larger society. All you need to do this is just soldering iron, solder, pliers, nippers, strippers. And then the woodworking is its own other thing, glue, tongue oil, local connection for good wood, and a CNC machine. I think I need to take 
something. Sassafras, Catelpa, Sycamore, Maryland, Walnut, and Juniper, and Mulberry. So I'm trying to use Sassafras as the premier synthesizer wood because it's got the sass. In the end, when the instrument's balanced, right, it just looks right and feels right, too. And it actually does, I can listen to the sound of the wood, just acoustic. And I hear these bars. And I can hear that sound is about right. It's a little bit dry. It's like a guitar is hollow and it's dry on the outside. This is based off of DC. Washington, DC has a certain pentagonal motif throughout parts of the city, especially the, our war department, the Pentagon. It's a five-sided building. And this five-sided structure right here just came about because there was a chip that with this material that I was given I was coerced into making a five-sided interconnected oscillator assemblage. I do have a history because my dad worked in the Pentagon at one point, and I've been in the Pentagon. There's a huge cave beneath it where they eat subs. The digital delays were in the shape of the Washington Monument, a giant stone tower. And it made this nice relationship between two obelisks and a central pentagon that is a good working relationship for sampling. It's a stereo sampler with this analog modulator on the inside. There we go. So that's just a triangle wave that I'm just inputting into the delay. And I'm not delaying it even. Here's it with the delay on it. And I can change the frequency of that triangle wave. But also, here's the chaos knob. So I turn this up, it starts to get hairy. Right, and stepped away. It's getting more hairy. And then. My whistle down here. Like that. Now?
I'm not actually looking for something new. I'm just looking for the old in what we have. Electronics are like old leather. This is Tocante, an instrument I designed to play in a cave. <laughs> 